looking for the backing for this quilt here, and somebody decided that they wanted to stop me. So now I'm stopped. Before I even get started on it, ain't that a crying shame? But I think I'm going to use this right here for the back. So, I guess whenever she gets up, yeah, then I can get started. Here is my sheet I'm going to use. And what we are going to do is we're going to start taking the hem off of it. Because we don't want the hem on there. So, we're going to whack it all down. And there we have it. We want to see if this right here is big enough to make our back now. So what we want to do is we want to fold it in half all the way up. it's going to be all the way kind of as even as we possibly can we'll make sure we got it all so they'll come out right all right we're going to start with one side of it keep on going down with it okay now i have the part on the table and I got flat. Scoot down some more. There we go. Now, we have two layers here. So, I want to put two blocks right here. Like this right here. Make sure we have some on the sides. And I'll go down some. There we go. Alright, we've got them two taken care of. Them. Now, what we want to do is come over here. And we'll take this side. We'll throw it over there. And fix it right. Like this. Bring it down some. Make sure these right here are level <clears throat> underneath here. <clears throat> so we make sure we have enough on there. If I can get a hold of just these two. All right, there we go. Let's pull this back some. There we go. And make sure they're flat. Now let's go over here and let's work on this side. Lay it flat. All of it's flat. Okay. That works for me there. Level it all out. There we go. Now we want to put two more on there. So we've got two more. We'll lay them on there. Right where we want them at. <clears throat> Check them out. So we're doing pretty good. <clears throat> now we're going to take this one. And we're going to throw it over. And level it out. sure everything underneath there is pretty good. 
and we're doing good. And then we'll put the two more right on top just to make sure that we have got six of them. So we've got all six of these ready to go. So we'll be back in a minute and then we'll cut them all down. I'm going to take these two off. And then come down here and I'm going to take these two off. Lay this back out. Get over here where get to it. Flatten that out. Good. The good way. Flat all the way. Okay. There we go. Alright. Now. that back just a tiny little bit. Now, let's see what I got here. All right, let's go here. Let's get these out. Oh boy. Let's see if we can't straighten this back out again. We'll get it back into threes. Has to go down. Okay. And that one has to come up. Oh boy, did I just screw this up. I do not want to do that. Let's see if we got that right. Yeah. I think I got that right. I just need to make sure it's all leveled out now. Yes, I did good. Give myself a flawed. Okay, now then, what we're going to do right here is we're going to cut down this one, both of them, all the way down. All right, now I've got this side right here cut. Now I'm going to pull this down. And this time I'm going to give you a little bit more room here to see. And now we're going to cut this one. Get both layers there. Give it a whack. All right, now we got those two. Now I'm going to take this side and bring it down this way. And now I'm going to cut top one here all the way down. There's two of them. Okay, now we'll cut the next one. Now we'll cut the next one. So that makes those. Now, flip it over this way. Make sure we have all of them on them over here. Yep, all of them over here. All of them over here. And here. So we got them all done. Now, we are going to put that over here. Now we're going to get one of them, lay it out, there we go, and now we're going to get one of our pieces, and 
lay it on top. And now then, you see, we've got it all the way around. Now I'm going to cut out the batting pretty well much the same old way if I can. But this is the way that I did it. Work on our batting here. Let's see if we can take one of these and lay it on this. And it'll be equal. Nope, it won't. We'll have to open it up bigger. All right. <clears throat> We're going to I have to have any that's on the on this side. I'd rather it to be the two that come apart. So now then, let me work this for here. Okay, fix all this up. It doesn't matter if it goes over over here. I'm not going to worry about it. But I do want it as level as I possibly can. Now, put this one right on top. Let's see if I can't get more up. There we go. All right, now then. What I'm going to do from here is freehand it and cut it.
And there we go. Okay, you can use a friction pen if you could see through all your material. It's not going to show through the black, so I can't use that one. So now I have washable markers. So I'm going to find out which one will show through my black. And I'm just going to mark. Let's see if I can't find one. I know brown ain't going to work. I don't think none of them are. That one's more to it. I can see something there. Okay, I'm going to use that uh, purple one there. So I'm just going to put these right here out of the way. Now I'm going to leave them here just because i got to go back. Now I'm going to take this right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down like that. Come over here. And I'm going to go down, like this, all the way down, like this. Now you see why I want my black to show. <laughs> oh, got a pen in the way. We're just going to move it out of the way. And go on down the road. Keep on going. There's another another one right here in the way. I'll have to move it. Let's so this is the way I am doing it. I'm gonna go up here this time. And mash it all the way down. Go down. Yeah, I got plenty of pins in the way, don't I? Got plenty of them. Okay, now you, do, you want to keep going the same way. You don't want to say, well, I'm going to come down here and work down here. You don't want to do that. You want to continuously work that way. And when you sew, you want to continually work that direction. Okay, you don't want to change out on it, because if you do, it will not turn out right. So continuous on the same old way. All the way. And we're going to work it on down. Okay, I want to lose my lid. Lose my lid, I'm going to be in trouble because it will most definitely dry out. You see here where it ended up at? Pretty well much. We've got one little tiny bit right there. Alrighty, I got this one right here done. I'm just going to sew them like that. I think that's going to be enough for this quilt. I will be happy with it. So, I've got five more to go. So, when I get those done, then we'll start sewing them down. Where Mama Cat is, but she's not on my quilt. So, I think we're going to look for her right real quick. Oh. There's Mama Cat. Can you see her arm? There she is, Mama Cat. Mama Cat. No, leave her alone now. But there she is. Okay, I started sewing this one. This one is my first one. And I don't like it. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to figure something else out. So let's look at the back of it. You see here? And that's not the only one. We have it here. We have it here. <clears throat> so I am not happy with that. So, this is what I, I'm going to try to do. I'm not going to take these out because it's just, it's just not, you know, it's, it'd be too hard of a job to do. Alright, I'm going to take these pins out that are right here by my next 
one that I'm going to be sewing on right here. We'll flatten this out. Get rid of that one too. Yeah, I'm not liking that at all. Okay, and now then I'm going to take my pins, these pins right here, and I'm going to go down and put pins down through here. And hopefully it'll take care of that. We're going to find out within the next few minutes if this is going to work or not. Because I am not happy with that. I hope it does. So I'll have to take these pins out as a go. And I'll <clears throat> but I don't see no other way of of doing it with these pins. So and I don't know about taking them back, taking that out. But I don't like it. I don't like it. So we're going to try this, and then we'll be back. Put it out okay. But then it got it right here and right here. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know how to make it any tighter than it than putting the pins on it and all. But I'm not happy about that. I don't know if I should take it apart or not. <clears throat> I don't like it. So I'm going to see what I can do. And on out. And this one right here turned out okay. I don't know what happened. But this one right here didn't. So I don't know. That's going to be too many of them in it. If they all do it. So I'm going to have to figure out. What to do. And then. I'm going to see if hubby won't help me. Take this apart. Because I'm not liking this. But I've got to figure it out first. And see what I can do. Okay, I'm gonna try something totally different. I have unsitting extra hold hairspray. Hairspray. So what I'm going to do, because I don't have any of that starch, and if I can get it, I'm gonna spray it. 